guys what's up welcome to my channel today I'm gonna show you guys how to create this look using wrapping paper and recycling your old canvas all you're going to need for this is your old canvas <laughs> some leftover wrapping paper some kind of adhesive you can use masking tape regular tape and some scissors so let's get started First of all guys, can I tell you guys how awesome this wrapping paper is? I don't remember where I got it from, but in the back of it, it had these lines that helped me uh, measure whatever it is that I was going to wrap. That is just awesome. And it actually helped me here because I took my canvas, laid it down, um, and moved it all the way to the corner of the wrapping paper. And you can't see, but I'm measuring it to the line that's on the back of the wrapping paper. So that saves a lot of wrapping paper. And this wrapping paper is thin. That's why I'm using regular tape. If your wrapping paper is thick, you may wanna use masking tape or maybe even a glue gun. So here I am going around making sure it fits perfectly on the back. I don't want too much wrapping paper because then it's gonna make uh, my canvas too bulky in the back. I'm measuring the other side now. Then I am just going to grab my scissors and cut that cut on the dotted line right where my finger is. There I go, I am cutting away. <laughs> now I'm gonna put my canvas back on to recheck my measurements and I'm going to cut the other side of this canvas. Well, the other side of the wrapping paper. Please excuse my voice, I'm getting over a cold and so, yeah, I'm just getting over a cold. Okay, so I'm just checking my measurements again. Again, I'm gonna use the dotted line and I'm going to cut right there. After you have cut your perfect square for your canvas, Put your canvas back on top and grab your tape or whatever you're going to use to stick the wrapping paper to your canvas. And because it's me, I am like double, triple checking the back of my canvas. Then you're going to take your tape, stick it right there in the middle, and then you're going to do the bottom and the top on the same side. I like the tape to be a little longer so it can kind of grab the inside of the canvas if that makes any sense. Once you do that side, you're going to turn it over and do the other side. Now for the corners. If you have wrapped a gift before, you know how to do this. You want a really clean and crisp corner. So I'm just folding that down. And then I folded that in and that over. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. <laughs> and then I grabbed some tape and I stuck that bad boy down. And that's just gonna give you a really nice crisp and clean corner. Here's a close up of what I did. If you didn't understand what I said before. Just remember, nice, crisp, and clean corners. Tape that bad boy down, and we're ready to go. Again, I'm going to tape the middle, and then the sides. Once I'm done with that, we're going to go on over and do the other side. Of course, I'm fast forwarding through this. And then once we have that down, I'm just gonna go back and just stick extra tape where I see certain areas needed some extra loving. And there we have it. Super easy, super quick, ta-da! So these are the three that I've decided to put on this blank 
wall over to the left. I'm going to leave the link below if you want to know how I created this using toilet paper rolls or paper towels, paper towel rolls. And so there are three ways I could have hung these. So here's the first way. Here is number two, and I decided to go with number three. And all I used to hang these three were push pins, and I swear you guys, it took me less than 15 minutes to do all three of these. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and thumbs up this video and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!